Hello everyone, I am Liang Jiandu, a CEO of IET. I would like to address Capstone projects and the implementation of UNESCO SDGs. So what my uh, future engineers uh, looks like? Uh, of course, we like to uh, prepare our students uh, to uh, develop uh, new skills and uh, mental capacity for active learning uh, and of course with um, multi-discipline knowledge uh, bridging nature and, and uh, engineering science with social science and arts a co-creation of sustainability solutions curiosities uh, growth mindset and the mental stress tolerance uh, so in other words the future ready graduate to be akin to Da Vinci, uh, because uh, he was curious about everything, and of course uh, he uh, uh, have abilities uh, on all kinds of areas. So the time for a sustainability curriculum is to embrace sustainability, uh, which is about enabling graduate future readies and giving a deeper sense of real world in the life. And sustainability in curriculum will transform the minds of students and thus enabling transition to healthy individuals, society and earth. Uh, key features of sustainability curriculum uh, it's, it is integrating uh, this principle of sustainability throughout the whole unit or course and delivering the course in sustainable ways. And also it's, uh, it's about transformative rather than uh, transmissive. And it would not be a specialized uh, content driven unit of study on sustainability. However, uh, it is integrated across courses and the unit. Uh, and also uh, it is a uh, cooperative problem based and uh, experiential learnings. So in a sustainable curriculum, connecting with the local, regional or global community is important to find uh, relevance to the topics of interest and the problem uh, being solved. Uh, seven principles of sustainability curriculum, including the first one, transformation and the change, so not just knowledge. The second, education for all and lifelong learning. Third, system thinking, uh, which is about highlighting connections between the environmental, economics, and social and the political systems. Number four, envisioning a better future, especially problem solving. Number five, critical thinking and reflection. Number six, participation, uh, which is about engaging groups and individuals. And the last one, partnership for change. Uh, IET self-study report template on mapping SDGs uh, course outcome. Uh, as you can see, uh, we require the program to list each uh, course with the uh, 17 SDGs. Uh, so this is to understand uh, that not all SDGs need to be uh, mapped and doesn't require all courses to be mapped with SDGs related outcomes. Uh, some SDGs are trained in general education or uh, extracurricular activities. Uh, so it means that uh, not only courses, uh, there will be other uh, like a general education or actual curriculum activity. Uh, so not only the course related to SDGs, we also require the program maybe uh, to demonstrate one or two uh, course, uh, which is um, uh, strongly related to the implementation of SDGs. Uh, and last year, uh, we do a survey uh, from uh, all the program under reviews. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we surveys 
the, the number of program we survey is uh, 34. So, uh, so as you can see, out of those 34 programs, we count on the courses uh, that are related to SDGs. And you can see uh, the number four, which is quality education. Number seven, uh, affordable and clean energy. And then number eight, decent work and economics and growth. Number nine, industry, innovation and infrastructure. And number 11, sustainable cities and communities. Number 12, responsible consumption and production. So those are, uh, are uh, the, the, the closest, uh, you know, that was highly related to the SDGs. I mean, uh, so this means that uh, in Taiwan, uh, most of the program, they offer course uh, which are highly related to uh, those SDGs marked in uh, orange. And of course, because uh, most of the program uh, uh, we accredit are related to engineering and engineering technology. So I think uh, those SDGs mark in orange they are, are related to uh, engineering and engineering technology. And of course, are uh, related to sustainability. Uh, okay, okay. And IET also uh, encourage program to design capstone courses. And this is allow students to deliver uh, SDGs related solution, including awareness, uh, knowledge, uh, skills, uh, values, and motivation. And of course, this is through uh, solving a uh, complex problem. So it means that uh, through the capstone design project, we would like to ask the program to uh, demonstrate how they, uh, how they implement the SDGs in problem solving. Uh, the, the capstone uh, courses, uh, I think, is to train students to ask a uh, question, including ask the right question and ask who they serve. So this means uh, putting them in a social, a technical, and operational context, and also ask why they are doing it, uh, the purpose of uh, solving the problem. Uh, capstone is the relation of outcome based education. So for students, uh, they can integrate learning uh, from the past in a problem solving process. And also they can uh, look forward, uh, meaning that they, they can strengthen the weakness and prepare for the futures. And for the faculty member, uh, they can be used to uh, get into uh, get information about student learning, especially regarding the achievement of great attributes. So normally, uh, they can look at the student outcome to assess uh, the student's uh, great attributes. And uh, for the program, uh, I think they can get evidence about student learnings and plan for improvement of curriculum and the teachings. Uh, so uh, this is quite uh, uh, unique uh, for a capstone. Uh, courses uh, and capstone courses could uh, uh, you could be used to assess great attributes in not only uh, technical skills but also uh, the uh, soft skills. Uh, so the technical skills uh, we mean the complex problem solving and also ability uh, to design and soft skill including. Uh, teamwork, uh, interdisciplinary, communication, uh, project manage management, including uh, fin finance, and lifelong learning, of course, is very important. Uh, so capstone uh, courses should correspond to uh, all graduate attributes or most of the graduate attributes. So as you can see uh, in this table, uh, suppose for capstone design projects, uh, they are uh, related to uh, six courses, and for each course, we also mark the corresponding uh, graduate attributes. Uh, for example, uh, course number one is related to 
are great attributes number one and number three and cos number two is related to cos uh, great attribute number one two four and five so if we uh, count each uh, great attribute you can see uh, at least we have uh, uh, maybe uh, two uh, two courses uh, there are two courses and number two also two courses so uh, so as long as we integrate uh, like uh, in this case six courses or five courses I think uh, we can uh, make sure uh, the capstone design project uh, will correspond to all the graduate attributes and this means that we can evaluate uh, the student outcomes uh, to assess uh, all the great attributes. Uh, and this uh, is actually, uh, I think this uh, table, uh, this figure actually showing the previous table. Okay. And then uh, uh, student work of, for each team must be uh, kept for evidence. Uh, uh, it means that uh, we, IET, ask the program to collect uh, all the student work for each team uh, because for uh, uh, no for a regular course we may ask uh, to only provide some sample uh, of student outcomes uh, like uh, uh, exam paper and so on but uh, for a capstone design project we ask program to collect all the student work um, of course the student work could be uh, shown in diverse form like uh, we have some finished product or some simulation or some model and uh, through the the whole process of capstone design uh, project may be uh, require student to produce a, a project report uh, maybe in paper or in uh, soft uh, form uh, that can be used for assessment and also uh, require students to make oral presentation as part of assessment plan and maybe uh, there are some uh, student competition at the end of the semester as well. Uh, and this is an example to show how uh, we use the capstone uh, uh, outcome to assess a student uh, the program a uh, great attribute so for example uh, you know one uh, the, the, there are seven there are eight uh, great attributes for this program and we can assign the proper weight for each uh, great attributes and then at the end of semester we can assign uh, the uh, the teacher who is in charge of the capstone design project and can give a proper score for uh, each great attributes so like this is uh, team A, uh, the first graduate attributes uh, get um, uh, 90 points, and the second one get 80 and so on. And then you have a uh, sub-score and then you have the, you can sum up the sub-score to get the final score. Uh, so anyway, I think uh, this uh, table shows that uh, uh, the score for each uh, graduate attributes for a team, uh, we call a team A. And similarly, we can, uh, uh, for team B, we can uh, grade similarly. So you can see the team B is the uh, 90 for the first grade attribute as, as 67 uh, for the second grade attributes. And then uh, suppose there are six students. Uh, so this means uh, there are 20 teams if three uh, students in the, in the team. So we can uh, take the average horizontally uh, like we have 20 teams, so we can take the average, so we can get the average score. The, so the average score meaning the, the class average. So you can uh, see from this table, number four, and the average is 68, and number six, number five, which is uh, 72. So out of uh, those eight grad attributes, I think uh, these two are lower. Uh, so so this means uh, with this data, then uh, we can uh, do some reflection to see uh, why these two uh, graduate attributes with uh, uh, lower performance with poor performance. Uh, and uh, back to uh, uh, 2011, uh, our department, NTU Civil Engineering Department, uh, we 
we try to do some uh, course reform, especially uh, we uh, develop uh, four courses, how uh, we call the uh, trilogy. Uh, what uh, we the uh, we from the we start from the the freshman uh, two courses the cornerstone design courses and then the second year is the keystone and the the, the third and the fourth year is the uh, capstone design projects uh, and the reason that, that we uh, develop uh, uh, this uh, three series and the trilogy courses is we want to motivate students for learning and of course we also like to uh, like our curriculum to meet the industry need. Uh, and you can see uh, uh, because our uh, bachelor program is quite general, including uh, traditional civil engineering and also related to environmental, architecture, uh, real world transportation, disaster prevention, and sustainability, and also with structure. Uh, so this means that. Uh, our capstone design project, keystone or cornerstone uh, courses should be related to those uh, areas. And on top of those, our bachelor program, uh, if we look at our graduate program, uh, we have geotechnical structure, hydraulic transportation, uh, construction management, uh, computer aided engineering, and surveying. Uh, so, so this means that. Uh, for all the uh, uh, capstone design project, we also need to uh, consider uh, uh, different uh, discipline uh, because our students, uh, their interest or their background, they are quite uh, different. So this means uh, we uh, it, normally each uh, year we have maybe five uh, topics uh, for uh, capstone design courses. So uh, the IET, uh, which is the accreditation bodies, uh, ask for evidence of student outcomes and evidence of engineering design, evidence of student ability in solving complex problems. Uh, okay, so uh, so uh, using the capstone course to assess as student outcome in complex problem solving. Uh, is uh, is about the ability to identify, and formulate the research literature, analyze, and solve complex engineering problem, reaching sustainable uh, conclusion. Uh, so this is IAT uh, criterion uh, uh, six three point six, and starting from the intake of students of uh, twenty fourteen, all students must take a major. A design project, uh, namely capstone course before graduation, as required by IET. And my department actually is one year uh, ahead of the IET. Uh, so IET uh, newly released criteria number three, uh, which is about great attributes. So we, we take the uh, EAC as an example, which is linked to uh, Washington Court, uh, there are eight graduate attributes, uh, including the, the uh, ability of uh, applying knowledge of mathematics, uh, science, and engineering, ability to design and conduct experiments, as well as to analyze and uh, uh, interpret data, ability to uh, apply techniques. Uh, skill and the modern tools are necessary for engineering practice, uh, design and engineering system, uh, component or, or process ability, and ability to manage a project, communicate effectively, work in a multidisciplinary environment, and uh, function on teams, and ability to identify, formulate research literature, analyze, and solve complex engineering problems. Uh, reaching sustainable conclusion. And number seven, knowledge of uh, contemporary issues and understanding of the impact of engineering solution in the environmental sustainability, social good, and uh, global context, and the ability and habit to engage in lifelong learning. And finally, apply ethical principle and commit to professional and information ethics and responsibilities and the norms of engineering practice and the sense of uh, respect for diversity.
Uh, so that's why and how our department uh, came up with the trilogy of design project uh, to demonstrate uh, the eight uh, great attributes. Uh, so the first year uh, is about there are two courses, the construction, conceptual design and the design to fabrication laboratory. And these are the course offered before uh, the uh, disciplinary courses. And the second year we have uh, through uh, mechanics and structural mechanics uh, and also uh, the laboratory. So we combine together the laboratories with the, uh, the course. Uh, so this means uh, they are uh, carry out in the same times. And then of course the capstone design project uh, is that after the student learns uh, the uh, discipline courses. So usually uh, uh, this is offered uh, maybe in the third or the fourth years. Uh, so in the cornerstone stage, students uh, implement civil engineering project before any engineering training. So this is to motivate a uh, little uh, thirst for knowledge of the discipline. So during the cornerstone uh, stage, the first year students uh, take two course. As mentioned before, uh, the one is conceptual design studio, and the second one is a physical model design laboratory, meaning that they need to uh, build something and test to value. Uh, for example, you can see the shaking table or test or maybe some loading test. And then the uh, keystone, uh, which is uh, in the fourth semester, uh, together with the full mechanic and structural mechanics. Uh, so you can see we will build some uh, bigger project like a bridge and we may be uh, some uh, floating structures and also uh, we have a workshop regarding the earthquake resistance uh, design and also for monitoring and the design analysis of type. And the capstone design project is about uh, how to solve a real world problem and then uh, the uh, capstone design project uh, will be offered uh, in either uh, the uh, third year or the fourth year. And then uh, we will announce uh, the, the problem, uh, you know, one semester before. So students can uh, choose one of the problem he or she is interested in. Uh, and students are to design, build, and test and to do oral and the written reporting in uh, this capstone design project. And we try to let them make, uh, so you can see it, uh, they need to make something. Um, and the topic for, and sorry, and the topics for uh, our department capstone designs, uh, nobody, uh, there are five topics uh, uh, every year, so I just show uh, some of them, so you can see they cover a lot of uh, different uh, area, uh, structure, transportation, hydraulics, uh, uh, geotechnical, uh, construction management. Uh, so I think uh, we try to cover uh, as more areas as possible because our student. Uh, may have a different kind of interest. Uh, so let's look at uh, student feedback on uh, Cornerstone, uh, which is the first year uh, course. Uh, we have a conceptual design uh, and we also have a physical model uh, laboratory. So this Cornerstone number one and Cornerstone number two. So compared to other courses in the first year, uh, I think these two uh, courses, uh, I think they are most uh, you know, like by a student. So this has the best uh, f feedback from the student uh, compared to other uh, first year courses. Okay. Uh, and student feedback on uh, uh, Keystone project uh, compared to the, the fourth uh, semester course, uh, still I think is the, the, the most uh, uh, you know, get the most of good feedback from the student uh, compared to 
uh, those courses uh, in the fall semester. Uh, and reflection. Uh, okay, we the first one uh, we think the student love the design course more than we expected. Even though the time the energy consumes were much more than the other courses. The second one, our department students used to be good in theories. However, they are less prepared for engineering practice. Uh, but now the design course changed that. The third one, students with basic design courses such as cornerstone and keystone perform much better uh, in capstone than those that result. So this means that um, uh, it's better that we have this kind of uh, treated design courses from cornerstone, keystone, and capstone instead of uh, just jump to a capstone. Uh, so we need to uh, trust the process because um, we have done this kind of treated courses for uh, more than uh, like uh, 12 years. So I think uh, we can see, uh, you know, the uh, student outcome uh, quite well. So after all, we are training engineers for now and the future. Uh, an example of capstone project that they get uh, very successful uh, student outcomes. So this is a uh, jingle bridge. It's a free bridge located in Shido Forest Park. Uh, so it's uh, 36 meter long and 1.6 meter wide, and it's designed by our uh, bachelor student of our department uh, and then uh, the completion of this bridge is uh, is March uh, 2017 so those students uh, they uh, design uh, this bridge uh, and Harvard uh, great school of design I think uh, in 2016, uh, uh, with Bendy, uh, we had a conference in Boston. So we went to uh, have a great school of design. So you can see on the world showing that uh, this is no uh, small project. So and that's why we are doing it. So this means that uh, they encourage uh, their students, uh, you know, to do a big project. Uh, and also, uh, there's a poster on the side door, which I'm quite uh, impressed, saying that uh, trust the process. So you can see, uh, even those uh, those students, they are very, very smart. However, they still need to uh, spend a lot of time in the studio because uh, uh, with this process, uh, uh, then they can integrate uh, what they have learned. And with this process, I think they can, uh, you know, uh, demonstrate uh, their ability uh, to implement uh, what they have learned. And so I think this is a good uh, process. And I think that the trilogies, uh, I mean, the cornerstone, keystone, and capstone design project uh, of NTUC is a very similar. Uh, the uh, cultivation process uh, down in uh, Harvard uh, Great School of Design. Okay, 